Hey, this is Kevin. You're watching Wingsound.com. This video, I'm going to show you the basics of the beat repeat function in Ableton. This is a really cool effect. Uh, you could use it to juggle beats or get that notchy auto tune filter for your vocals. So check it out. Okay, so I got a couple loops here, and I put the beat repeat onto the master track so that it will affect everything that is playing. Um, so let's listen to our loops dry without any any effect. Alright, now I'm going to play the loops and turn on the beat repeat. Okay, so you can kind of get a feel for what's going on there. Uh, let's go over the basic buttons in the beat repeat function. Uh, the interval parameter will define how often the beat repeat captures the music, uh, captures whatever whatever it is that you want it to repeat. So you set it at one fourth, this is one quarter notes length right here. And then you can go all the way to one bar or four bars, and you can see those are your four bars right there. And you can go all the way to one thirty second note. So let's put it on one bar, so we got our four beats here. And then you have your grid, which will define um, how fast or slow or how many times it will chop up the beat. So at 1 16th, you'll see those four 16th notes there. You can go to 32nd note, and it'll go twice as many, or you go to 8th note, and it'll just cut it up twice in one beat. The gate um, will define how long these repetitions take place. So if I have 8 out of 16 at 8th note, and I have four 8th notes, which take up half of my interval, which is one bar here. So let's see how that sounds. And you could offset this. There's an offset button so it happens in the middle of the bar. And then you got um, some pretty self-explanatory buttons on the bottom right. Uh, the volume, you control the volume of your repeat and you can have that decay. So I'm going to stretch this out a little longer. You can have your repeat decay. So when it's on mix mode, it's playing the original loops as well as your beat repeat. When it's on insert, it will only open up a gate when it is repeating, but it will still play mix mode. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the mix and insert are what you use the most. Uh, sometimes you use a gate mode which is just playing the repeat. Uh, you would never use this on a master track the way I have it, but I'll play it just so you can see how it sounds. And then a filter is exactly that. It will filter out your gate. And if you ever are playing around with it and you want it to repeat right then and there, you hit the repeat button and it will repeat whatever music is playing right then until you unhit it. You have some pitch options down here to pitch down and to have the pitch decay.
So that's the beat repeat. You can use this on drums, vocals, or music. Just be careful when you use it on the master track because it could mess things up. You can always get in touch with Kevin at wingsound.com as well as watch more of Kevin's videos including these titles featuring Ableton Live. Now available on demand at wingsound.com.